pattern and the song se selection that we had here in the transport control. You can see the song, then we just go into play what in the song or what's in the playlist or our arrangement that's the same thing here so let's say that we have this kick here we can actually just uh, go like that we can create some diff some more here and now if we play the song then you will play all of these uh, things that you have here in the playlist so that is our patterns times three basically so if you go to uh, play here you will see that we will play all of these uh, patterns in the playlist. But if you go to the pattern mode here, then you will see that the select, selected pattern here will be played. Actually select the patterns here. So uh, if you go to test here, we don't have anything there, so it would not play anything. And the kick. And you can also browse through the different patterns here. You can also create new one as I showed before, and you can see different uh, settings for this basically. So you can rename a color, uh, you can select in, uh, in the playlist, you can clone one, that is a very nice one to have. You can also delete and move it up and down. But uh, I think this view is better to do that for. Another option in this channel rack here with the step sequencer, you can also open up something called graph editor, which will uh, generate a few different options for for the selected notes that you have here. So for instance, you can pitch the notes here. You can also put some different velocity. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You can also pan the different uh, individual sounds here as well. And you can just play around with this. Uh, it, there's a lot of different things you can do here. Let's take a look at the playlist here. So let's close the channel rack and uh, the playlist is where we going to arrange our tracks. So I'm going to take all of these pattern clips here and just move them like that. And as you can see, you add a new pattern by just left click and you delete it with the right click. You also have a lot of different tools here. So as you can see, we're now at the paint tool. But you can also choose draw tool, which will allow us to um, just put one and then move it. Uh, you can't paint it like with a paint tool, like this. Then we have some different tools, so delete, you just click it and delete it. Um, but that is, I mean, when, when you're using the paint or draw mode, that will um, actually be built in by just right clicking on the, uh, the pattern. Then you have mute, so you can mute an individual pattern like that, and you can also enable the sound like that. See, you can put all of these patterns here in whatever track you want, so you can actually do it like this if you want to. Uh, but just to stay organized and um, delete all of these, to have one individual sound per track, it's very nice to just rename color and icon the track itself so let's do that i'm going to go with kick put a similar color there as well and just make it like that 